Last time we talked about biotechnology whereby we used microorganisms to be able to actually make useful substances which can help us as humans. Today we're going to be talking about the traditional te technology whereby microorganisms are used traditionally to make certain products which can help us as humans. So microorganisms such as yeast can undergo alcoholic fermentation that is cellular respiration, anaerobic cellular respiration. We're actually going to make one, one video about that. So during this process, glucose is changed into ethyl which is alcohol carbon dioxide and energy so humans use this process to manufacture beer wine bread cheese mass so all of these products are actually manufactured for microorganisms such as yeast so beer is made from maize sorghum millet barley or rice and hops so wine is traditionally made from grapes yeast found on the skins of fruit ferment the grape sugar after the grapes are crushed remember that you can find yeast on the skins of fruits they can actually ferment that grape sugar after those grapes are crushed and they can actually make wine so bread uh, in the making of bread, yeasts are used to make bread, the rice. So basically, in this case, you can see that where, 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 when, the, when the bread is rising, it means that yeast has been put. So the carbon dioxide given off during alcoholic fermentation expands when heated in the oven, creating air pockets. So the alcohol produced evaporates when the bread is baked, therefore the bread rises. So cheese... Uh, which is uh, the lactobacillus bacteria so this actually produces lactic acid so lactobacillus bacteria can be used to convert milk sugar called lactose into lactic acid so lactic acid curdles the milk and forms a solid mass known as curds so those curds are processed and separated from the watery for a watery way which is the waste products to make the cheese so we also have mass so mass is similar to yogurt and is made by bacterial fermentation of milk so lactic acid thickens the milk and acts as a preservative. So remember, we can actually find mass. We can actually find mass in the store. So that that amasi is actually made from lactic acid bacteria. So this is the basic use of traditional technology for microorganisms. Thank you for watching.